Hello guys, this is Tara from Tara Arts Movie and welcome to another exciting tutorial uh, using a software called 3D Studios Max. Alright, so today I'm gonna teach you how to create a simple table and how to create a uh, animation. Alright, so the first thing you wanna do of course create a table. So go to create geometry and we're gonna create a plane first for the floor then we're gonna create a box make sure the outer grid is checked I'm gonna create a box for the table and just like that and then we're gonna right click on the perspective right here and we're gonna check the edged faces so we can see the uh, segments here and then make sure you have enough segments and then click orbit here to move the camera all right so now select and move and we're gonna right click on the make sure you, the make sure the uh, box is selected right click on it and click convert to editable mesh and then right here you can choose this box polygon click that and we're gonna click around here and hold control to click just like that oops by the way to undo of what you do wrong you can just uh, hold down control and press Z so if you do something by a mistake like just like this just go, uh, just press control just, just hold control and press Z to bring it back alright so we already choose this we're gonna create a legs for the table and then you're gonna go right here and see this extrude so bring this up you can see how tall it is from this front view right here actually we're not going to twice we're going to once just like that and then if you want the table to you know the legs to be smaller on the down uh, you can use bevel right here and get down a little bit so the table becomes like it, all like this you know make just like that alright so we already create our table so make sure you check this create again so it not added in the in the polygon so we're gonna choose select and move uh, now we're gonna choose rotation I'm sorry rotation so we're gonna rotate this table in the X uh, direct uh, in the X directional so right click on the rotation and on the X we're gonna set this to 180 degree and set, hit enter and the table is now rotate and we're gonna choose select and move and move it up to the above the floor alright so just create a simple table and very fast now we're gonna create a add some materials that we already run in our last tutorial so press M to add some materials and click a default materials right here you can click here none and add some bitmap and you can go to local disk C program files uh, Autodesk 3D Max 2009 uh, maps and then you can go to Ahmed or I will go to Pro Materials to find some materials for the table. Let's say wood and plastic here. You can uh, you can then click and drag it to the table, or you can click this one. Assign material to selection. So click that, and we're gonna click this to show standard map in a viewport here. See, you can see it now. We're gonna right click and uncheck the edge face so you can see and you can see here tiling what is tiling for you can see right here if we make this up see see right here see the difference make it more you know all right so as I read you can go here go to parent or go to default it will be the same then we can set the specular level a little bit closing this down a little bit because press F9 to render to see it looks 
right looks pretty good and then go to maps and we're gonna go to uh, you you're gonna click and drag it to the bump so it will copy click OK and bump make it around like uh, 60 and then you have the table and you're gonna create another material for the ta uh, for the floor I mean bitmap so we're gonna choose for the floor maybe this one oh this one maybe and then you're gonna set the you're gonna drag it to the floor to render it up you can see it's kind of too big so we're gonna set the tiling tiling here all right just like that then don't, don't forget we're gonna go to maps and to the bump so you, you can see the difference this is before the bump see like this just like you draw something on the floor but if you make bump up a little bit you can see that it uh, can make the um, texture stronger you know it's like a real rocks all right so we're gonna create then a light so good to create lights and we're gonna choose standard here and go to Omni put it whatever you want and make it up a little bit bring it up and don't forget to when these light selected go to modify and make sure the shadows is checked on and you can go to shadow parameters here and the density not so full just around 60 to 70 then if you render it out you can see it looks nice alright so to change the background when you render it so it's not black you can go to rendering so environment and go to none here you can choose bitmap you can choose any pictures you want let's say skies like this and then if you render it out it will like that all right flying table <laughs> all right so next we're gonna go to camera because we're gonna create something uh, we're gonna create some animation so go to camera right here and we can go to the left uh, uh, a camera before that camera target make sure you click that and from the left uh, view you can create a camera and drag the view point no the target to the table of course and you're gonna uh, right click on the perspective views right here and click views and change it to camera views and then you go there you go and you can uh, select and move first you're gonna select the camera and move it around just like that see and from the front view you can move it to right and left just like that so here is the for the animation so we're gonna uh, go here first time configuration you can uh, set the length for like 200 and also this 200 okay so from 100 we're gonna change it to 200 so for 100 it's like three seconds of uh, animation but so 200 will be like around six seconds all right so from make sure you drag it to the beginning of the composition and you're gonna set auto key and you're gonna create a key from the first part you can see here a key already created so we're gonna bring it to the last uh, composition and then you're gonna move your camera just like that we'll say like this and then you're gonna click play make sure your camera view is selected and you will see what it look at what what it will looks like <laughs> how hard to say that see very cool and uh, you can see it by rendering out it's just uh, f9 render all right so that's all about it that's all about animation